Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we're gonna talk about capacitor markings. Now, I'm not talking about your basic electrolytic capacitor. I mean, you know how to read that, right? It says right on there, 10 volts, 1200 microfarad. No big deal. Same with, uh, you know, surface mount ones. They're relatively easy to read. I mean, if you get yourself a a surface mount capacitor, you know, kind of looks like this. Little solder blocks on the end. And let's say it says something like A1. Pardon my writing, it's not very, not very good. Well, that would be 33 picofarad. And, you know, if you have one that says... A4, that would be 0 0.001 microfarad. For those, you're, you're just going to have to look them up because I don't really figure any rhyme or reason to them because, like, say, the next one, which might say 56, is actually 4.7 picofarad. So when it comes to uh, surface mount capacitors, just look them up. The two types of capacitors that I really want to talk about today are basically your polyester or mylar capacitors and the uh, the large ceramic disc type capacitors because these have codes on them like let me find one with a code here one second here's another one I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to read that it says 511J so let me draw this beautiful capacitor Okay, so we have 511J, which is equal to 510 picofarad. Why? Well, we just have to multiply the numbers out. So that would be uh, 51 times 10 to the fourth, or 510 picofarads. Now, the J, on the other hand, is part of what is known as your EIA capacitor, I'm going to abbreviate this, tolerance codes. And they are as follows. So this can get a little bit confusing because there's kind of a cutoff here after D. So B is plus or minus 0.1 picofarad, C plus or minus a quarter, uh, 0.025 picofarad, D plus or minus 0.5 picofarad, and then we start moving the percents. E is 25% plus or minus, F is 1%, G is 2%, H is 2.5%. Going all the way up to 20% here at M where there's another, another, another cutoff. Then we have P is minus 0% to plus 100%, minus 20%. So those are your EIA capacitor tolerance codes, and that just tells you what that particular letter here is. So that J means this capacitor is 510 picofarad plus or minus 5%. And then you know where you're at. Now other capacitors like these larger ones have more markings on them. You can see it mark plus or it's marked plus or minus five percent, and it also gives you the voltage. In this case, uh, five hundred volts. Now let's talk about another type. So here we have our large or high voltage ceramic disc capacitors, and the markings can really vary. Like you see here, twenty two M, point one Z, X seven R, ten K, one K V. So what does all this mean? Well, this one here would be. 22 picofarad then we have m which is our code and that tells it it is plus or minus is it 20 percent so 22 m 22 picofarad plus or minus 20 percent at one kilovolt now this one uh, 0.1 z would be 0 0.01 microfarad at minus 20% to 
plus 80%, and that would be at 100 volts. Then we have this, which these are the most confusing of all of them. So we have the X7R. That is, there's our 10. So that is 10 picofarad. And then we have our R code, which is, uh, was it 10? To... 15% variation and then we have the um, the the temperature codes I'll show you the temperature codes in a minute so this one is from minus 55 C to 100 100 125 125 C and 1 kV is of course 1 kilovolt Again, you're probably going to need a chart, but I at least wanted to show you what these things mean. Let's talk about the temperature codes next. All right, now we get into the crazy with the temperature codes. So here's our ceramic disc capacitor, X7R 10K, 1KV. So we know that is 10 picofarad at 10% at 1 kilovolt. So now we need to look at our temperature codes. We have X, which is our minimum temperature of minus 55 C then we have R I'm sorry we have 7 which is our maximum temperature of plus 125 C and then we have our R which is a temperature a max Delta a max change based on temperature of 15 percent so if you need a very precise type of capacitor, this is what you're looking for. These kinds of markings. It'll tell you the minimum temperature, the maximum temperature, the max change over temperature, your variation from your uh, intended reading, and what the value is. One last one, and this is probably the weirdest one of all, and that is SMD ELEC. Electrolytics. Electrolytics. And they are really strange. You know, they look like your standard SMD capacitor. But they have markings like this. Well, what does that mean? Well, in this case, it means 10 microfarad at six volts so just be aware that there are uh smd electrolytics and you, know, you just kind of read them like this they'll tell you in microfarads and the voltage they're generally going to be in microfarads they're not going to be in picofarads because they're using the electrolytics for their larger values so i hope this helped you out a little bit i know it's crazy confusing it confuses me i had to use a chart to write these things out if it did give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.